So here I've opened up a new GeoGebra worksheet. As you can see, it has my default settings in place. My coordinate axis is bold. My font size is 24. And I have my background grid on. Another default setting that you'll see is my labeling. It's on no new objects. For this example, I'm going to tell it to label new points only. I'm going to turn off my background grid because I'm going to use this for a geometry example. I'm going to construct a line segment and it automatically labels the points because I changed that setting. You see over in my algebra pane, it gives me the coordinates of each point and it gave me the length of the segment. What I'd like to do now is create a congruent segment. So we will do a construction. I'll come over and choose a point and plot a random point in the workspace. Now the next step for constructions is to use a compass to find the distance from point A to point B. If we go to the circle menu, you'll see there's a tool called compass there. If you come down to this graphics toggle menu and you select the color and the type of line you want, you can save that in your property settings so that your compass tool will always have those settings. I like to use a dashed line for the compass and I make it red. You can also change the thickness of the line here. And now when I use my compass tool, I clicked on the two endpoints and that is the same as opening up a compass to the distance from AB. In doing so, we've constructed a circle with a fixed radius, that radius being the distance from A to B. We come over and we click on point C, and now we want to go to our point menu and choose point on an object. That object is going to be the circle created from our compass tool, and we can put that point anywhere we want on the object. And now we can connect those two points together with a segment, and we've constructed a segment, CD, which is congruent to segment AB. We can verify this through measuring. We see that the measurements are here in the algebra pane, um, but if you weren't using the algebra pane in your demonstration, if you're doing it strictly with the drawing space for your geometry presentation, you can come over to the angle menu. This is actually a measuring menu. It can measure angles, that's the default measurement here. But when you click on it, you can measure distance, you can measure area, you can measure slope. We're interested in the distance or length. Click on the segment you want to measure, 3.983. I'm just going to choose my arrow tool so I can reposition that measurement. I'll come back to my measuring tool and measure CD. 3.983, they're congruent, we expected that. And now we can even type up a congruence statement. So here the text box, I will put a text box in here. And in here I want to write that segment AB is congruent to segment CD. GeoGebra uses latex for mathematical typesetting. So if you check the latex box and you use the drop down menu, Accents are things that we put over single characters. We don't want an accent over a single character. We want an extended accent, which will go over multiple characters. So we choose the over bar over two characters. And now we can change this XX with AB. And you can see the latex code is backslash, and then they have the overline. You can start to learn the latex code as you're using this. Um, it becomes beneficial in other applications. Latex is becoming popular. Um, so for the ne instance, I can just type the next one in, backslash C-O-N-G for congruent. We see that congruent symbol showed up in the preview. If you don't know the formula, you can come down and search for it. But as you learn these formulas, it becomes easier to just type them in. Uh, backslash, I see the formula is overlined. with a curved brace, and then CD, and then a closed curved brace. And I have my preview here verifying what it will look like when I say OK. There's my mathematical statement. If I would like to change the, the size of it, I can click on the object. And then we see our options bar gives me 
options for the size of the text. I want it bold, I want it italicized, I want to change the color of the text. And there's a little lock here if I want to fix it so it can't be moved. Anything you want to fix, you now have the option to lock it in place so that students can't move it if you share a worksheet um, and they end up changing the size or position of something. So there you have it. We've started with a random segment. We followed the geometric construction seg uh, steps for congruent segments. We verified they were congruent using measuring. And then we wrote a congruent statement.